some of you might already be aware on the general facts on animal cruelty, like injuring, abandoning, neglecting, and killing an animal. We all know that that's animal cruelty. However, that is just the tip of the iceberg. Have you ever wondered on what kind of impact animal cruelty has to humans? Would you like to know? As I gather more information on animal cruelty, I stumble upon some famous personalities with whom I would like to share with you. Let me start by presenting some of them. First, Kip Kinkle, known for murdering four people and injuring 25 persons. Next, Jeffrey Vammer, murdered 17 people. Then, John Lane Gacy, also known for killing a total of 33 men and boys. And lastly, Ted Bondi, well known for confessing to killing 30 women and perhaps more. What do they all have in common? They all committed animal cruelty before all their crimes. Kip Kinkle mutilated a cow and placed firecrackers into cat's mouths. Jeffrey Zammer killed his neighbor's pets and impaled the animal's head on poles. Johnny and Gacy set turkeys on fire using gasoline filled balloons. A Ted Bundy, he mutilated dogs and cats. Shocking? Why am I sharing you this? Well, animal cruelty, if becomes habit, could lead to more serious crimes. However, if these early signs were given attention to, it could help humans from being trapped into a habit that puts them and the animals in danger in the long run. Based on my research from Animal Legal Defense Fund, a 1997 study found that animal abusers are, in fact, five times likely to also harm a fellow human. Another study stated that 43% of those who commit school massacres also committed animal cruelty. A third study was published and it says that 89% of women with pets in an abusive relationship reported that their pets were either threatened, injured, or killed by their abusive partner. In one more study, it states that 88% of families under supervision of child abuse also committed animal abuse. What are these? studies and findings telling us? These studies and findings are telling us that animal cruelty is the birth of criminal instinct. And that if we tolerate animal cruelty, aren't we grooming future criminals? A society that is silent on violence to animals is a society that partakes in breeding future criminals. A society that is silent on violence to animals is a society that gives consent to criminals. This has brought me to a thought that saving the animals would start by dealing with the humans first. I have realized that it's not only the dog, cat, or animal that needs help. It's the man too. 
instead of looking at these abusers as an enemy, I see them as victims too, needing help. I have interviewed a psychologist and he claims that when someone commits animal cruelty, the main reason behind it is trauma. They are traumatized and hurting an animal is their way of saying someone had hurt them before. Who needs to be saved? From whom? When both are at risk and in danger? Animals are being used as a tool. An outlet of pain, anger, and depression. Animals and humans are hurt, and both needs help. Don't you think? Children who abuse animals may be repeating something they had seen from home. Perhaps they might have seen how their parents react to anger and frustration with violence. Children who abuse animals are also sending clear warning signs that they pose a risk to themselves and to others as well. Violence to animals will not end if you will not look closely into the root cause of it. It's like a wound, just given a bandage, but never the proper treatment or medicine. I don't want a temporary solution to this concern. I want a permanent solution that would permanently set free animals from human abuse, neglect, and cruelty. Did you know that animal cruelty statistics is unknown because most cases have never been reported? In the Philippines, some organizations like the Philippine Animal Rescue Team or PARTS mentions that the only cruelty animal cruelty statistics they have if the is the ones that were being reported to their shelter. In the Philippines there is also a public law that is known as the Animal Welfare Act of 1998. Under the bill, the penalty would be uh, one year, six months, one day, to two years imprisonment with a fine of 100,000 pesos. However, why are there still people committing animal cruelty was anyone even put to jail on the account of animal cruelty? Do they even have knowledge on this penalty? Or should I be asking a question? Is our current law enough? Does it answer to our need to change our mindset on animal welfare and the view of its perpetrators? You can ask. Why should we trouble ourselves with animals when people have lots of troubles concerning them already? We can argue long and hard for the answer, or we can take it from a great man who lived. The greatness of a nation and its moral progress can be judged by the way its animals are treated. How we treat animals reflects how we uphold morality in our country. What do you see in your country's reflection? What is your country's reflection? When we see animal cruelty and yet do nothing about it, aren't we accessory to that crime too? Our inactions and in actions will hold us accountable. When we just tolerate animal cruelty, aren't we allowing people to commit criminal acts later on? When we ignore animal cruelty, aren't we ignoring the hint people are giving us when they are either hurt, depressed, or traumatized and needed help? When we see animal cruelty, we don't care because it doesn't directly affect us. I mind my business, you mind your business. This is our mindset 
and our mindset needs to change. Just because we were born into this mentality, it doesn't mean we have to grow with it. Animal cruelty won't have an impact on us now, but it will, one day. Shrugging off cruelty to animals as a minor crime or even nothing is like ignoring a huge ticking bomb. Therefore, we are called to R E A C T. We are called to react. R report. Report any kind of animal cruelty you see. In doing so, you're not only doing this for the animal, but you're saving our fellow humans too. E empower. Empower our cultures and values by changing our current mindset on animal welfare. A. Advocate. Advocate with us. Use the power of social media to bring awareness on animal cruelty. Vlog. Post on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Make a noise. C. Collaborate. Collaborate with private organizations, animal shelters, and more. Together, we rescue as one. T. Teach. Teach your friends, families, and most importantly, yourself. Educate yourself on the law on animal welfare and more. Parents, teach your kids, relatives, friends how to treat animals the right way. R-E-A-C-T with me now. React with me now. I have personally witnessed animal cruelty when I was young. I remember I was outside playing with my friends that day. When I saw a skinny, dirty, black, filled with worms, stray puppy. People started pouring boiling water at her, trying to shoo her away. I wanted to do something. I needed to do something. And I did do something. I rescued the puppy, named her Blackie, and now she's living her life to the fullest with us. I just saved and rescued the puppy. But what about those people? I realized that they too need to be saved from a culture and mindset that they were accustomed into before it's too late. The point is, I could have remained silent, but I'm choosing to step up and do something. My love for animals have taught me compassion. I could have chosen hatred for those people exercising animal cruelty. But the animals have echoed into me that that is not the way. Animals have taught me how to love unconditionally, just like how they are doing to their masters, no matter how cruel their masters were to them. Animals have taught me how to love my enemies. Violence to animals will not end if we will not have programs that would educate everyone. We all have a choice. We all have a voice. Are we just going to throw our choice, voice, away? While others are longing for someone to speak up for them? Or are we going to step up, speak for the voiceless, and save humanity? It's our choice. Let's not throw it away. Remember, the right to remain silent isn't always right. React now. We are E-A-C-T as one. We react as one. Thank you.